Let's talk about mathematics, spiritual mathematics, that is. Let's elaborate and um, expound on this topic. Religiously, God measured this earth out, the depth, the width, the circumference, heavenly geometry. Geometry is a very essential in the building the trades and the Masonic lore, such as the stonemason guild, such as your carpenters, such as your neophytes, your apprentices, your journeymen, and everything that got to do with mathematics, fractions, algebra, stuff of that measure, the balances of life. Everything in life is numbers to a certain extent. Numbers and writing and reading and arithmetic the curriculum all goes together hand in hand. If you don't know how to read, you if you don't know how to read, you ain't gonna be able to do the normal steps of mathematics. You gotta know the steps, so you gotta know how to read. You gotta know how to read to even do mathematics. So, literature, writing skills, and language skills and language arts coincide with numbers, which is mathematics. So both goes hand in hand. See, these are the things that people need to really take seriously. You know, it takes numbers to run this phone I'm on. It takes numbers to run codes and programs. You got to put passwords in, letters and numbers to get on certain kind of platforms. Everything that we learn in this American system for us the schooling coincides with the things we need to get within the system so we can be successful as far as learning spiritual mathematics. Okay? Because some of us put ourselves in debt. All, look, some of us, let's put it this way, is in debt because we are dysfunctionally living a life of uneducated ways when it got to do with currency, which is involved with mathematics. If you know how to save, if you know how to get your proper necessities, not over exhaust your funds, you got everything you need that you can pay your bills, you can survive, you got a roof over your head, you got transportation, and you got a job that makes enough and gains enough money on paycheck that you can put a little bit away for a rainy day. Self-preservation is everything. Don't show your don't show your hidden hand. Don't let nobody know your whole card. Save your money, and find out how to double your money. See, this is why we put ourselves in debt as melanated people. Some of us, because we don't know how to get money and grow money. Okay, then we tend to blame other ethnicities for our own debt relation problems. Meaning that no, it's not their fault. They're not chasing you with the whip no more. They're not hanging you from the highest tree no more. So you have a job. You know what you're doing. You're overspending. You're not, you're not investing in yourself. You're not paying yourself first. You know, you're just working paycheck to paycheck and then over buying and overspending and some of the stuff you don't even need. Then you cry wolf or cry you broke because you dysfunctionally not mature enough mature enough to save your money my battery running low excuse me for that might have cut this short family might have to do another segment on this then again hold on for a minute excuse me because y'all need to get this y'all really do real talk what you want family you can live with peace and harmony that's why so many marriages go bad and stuff like that relationships because everyone don't want to share the wealth everyone i got mine to get yours no one ain't breaking bread like they posed to and a lot of us as melanated people 
I mean, Anglo people too. I mean, people that have this disease of overspending, you know, and not helping the less fortunate. Let me tell you something about helping the less fortunate too. You know, what goes around in the spiritual realm of life, if you help people that really need it and it comes from your heart, you don't regret helping these folk, meaning that you're giving folks money that need it and you ain't really tripping off of it, you know you're going to get blessed and what you, what you are going to get blessed. You know, charity starts at home. Help your fellow man, help your fe fellow woman. If you got enough money to spread around, help them. Because I'm telling you, I'm a firm believer. What you put in is what you get out. And you get triple fold. Every time I help someone when I had some money, you even gave me some money to get something to eat or whatever. Once once it's gone, it's gone. All right, no, they can do bad things with it. But I was get you know, it's just giving from the heart. And don't you know, money came like, like a miracle. Money just came out of nowhere or someone just gave me something whether it be my family or my non-family and it was or a, a, a better job or whatever, I got blessed, triple fold. See, that's why I keep telling you, faith without works is dead. The man upstairs ain't going to do it all for you. You got to put your first foot forward and then he will do it for you. And then you got to be living within the spiritual, okay? So, these principles I'm giving you, they do work. You know what I'm saying? They work for real. Spiritual mathematics is what you need in your life so you can get wealth. You must appreciate those numbers. Not gambling, not 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 using the numbers and the money and the currency in the evil way. You must get your money in a spiritual way. If you go out in this world, and, and, and proceed with your occupation or whatever you want to do within your career. If you have faith, if you trust in the most high, if you practice what you preach and you know what you want and you and you and you gonna pursue that and you dead on that and you know it's gonna bring you something you believe in yourself, you gonna get your money. You gonna get your spiritual mathematics right. You're gonna pass that test and you gonna get your money as an individual. Do not run away from mathematics. People learn by seeing. People learn by bookwise. People learn by dealing in uh, customer service. That's how I learned how to speed up my my ad and my subtraction and my multiplying by working a cash register. People learn in different ways. And bless that woman. I worked in that department store. She gave me a chance. And once I started working at that register, it's not it not only helped me with uh, mathematics it helped me with interpersonal skills meaning that I knew how to at a you know period of, you know at a period of time I was relaxed and interacting with my customers while I was at that cash register far as attitudes far as good personalities and bad personalities far as good children and bad children oh yeah you learn a lot working in a little convenience store and how people interact with you and it, and, it, and, and, it, and it solved a lot of complexes I had and insecurities when I done that. See, life is a journey. And some people come to your life, they will help you. And ever since then, I've been more, you know, interacting ever since then. Because that put, she put me right in the hot seat. But I, I was steadfast and I done what I had to do. And it made me a better person in this workforce as far as customer service relations is concerned and this is what y'all gotta understand math is not hard some people just make it hard when you go into something that is hard you already failed you should always go into something as a challenge and know that you need this in your life because it's spiritual the majority of things People really, some of people don't even know the majority of material things, the majority of spiritual blessings come from spiritual mathematics. Spiritual mathematics. I'm telling you, family, I'll probably do some more segments on, on this because some of y'all, I want y'all to get this. I don't want y'all to come out, come out my come out my dialogue being confused. I want y'all to really get this. So I might do more installments on the spiritual mathematics thing. I'm telling you. 
you need to embrace those numbers. I'm telling you. I'm out.